Hey guys, welcome to Bambi TV. So today we're checking out one of the suggestions, guys. Who actually suggested this for me in the comment section, guys? Guys, today we're checking out a message that answers Jesus said, "I'm the way, the truth, and the life." Yeah, what do you think? Like, what is your honest opinion about this? I think Jesus said it. He's the way, he's the truth, and the light. Like, no one can get to the Father except through him. Okay, I, I mentioned this in the last video I did. I think it was yesterday I did it. So, a lot of you were... Like, no one touched on this point. I don't think anyone touched on this point. So, guys, like, tell me your opinion about this in the comment section, guys. Guys, let's get straight into this video. Yes, please. Okay, thank you. My, my question is one of curiosity. If, if the Muslim believes in Jesus Christ as being a prophet, then I assume that means that they're revering his message and what he was. So my curiosity is one in the Christian description of him, say by the prophet Isaiah, when he's referred to as the coming Messiah being Emmanuel, translated as God with us, and also in the men that he was with, that he trained up, who, when they relate his story, relate frequent insta instances where he, they say that no man comes to God but through me, and that I am the bread, the truth, the life, that I am God. So it's, I'm curious about how you handle that. It's a very, very pertinent and straightforward question. Straight request, you know, it calls for my response on that level. You see, uh, there are quotations in the book of Isaiah in the Old Testament where a description is given about somebody, something, maybe the Messiah. He says, and he shall be called, I'm quoting, called Emmanuel, which means God with us. He shall be called Emmanuel. Now I'm asking people, I said, look, you've got 27 books in the New Testament, 27 books. In any one of these books, is it ever mentioned anywhere that Jesus was ever called Emmanuel? Was he called Emmanuel? He was called Jesus. He was called the Messiah. He was called the bread of life. He was called the, <laughs> the truth of God. All that, the word of God. Was he ever called Emmanuel in any one of these 27 books? Was he? No. So, it means he's not referring to him. He shall be called. Like you see, the man comes along, he's going to lecture to you people on the subject, uh, two pictures of Jesus, Quranic and Biblical, and that man shall be called the Messiah. Now, did anybody call me Messiah? No. So it's, there's no fulfillment. Can you see? If I wasn't called Messiah, I'm not the Messiah. He was... No, 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 no. Like, if I'm being honest, like, I feel I'm already that as I go in. He's actually doing too much, like... Try my best to use the perfect language for this. Guys, like, let's say, wait, it was a prophecy. Like, he's gonna be called Emmanuel. For the fact he wasn't called Emmanuel, like, let's say, so people choose to call God different name, the King of Kings. Like, the, the Almighty Father, or the Father of all men. For the fact someone calls him the father of all men once does not mean he isn't the father of all men. Like, it was a prophecy and clearly the prophecy was actually talking about Jesus. So, for the fact people didn't call him a man, it doesn't mean... Oh God. I don't know why he's trying to shift it, but like, it's there is fact. God with us. It's actually one of the reasons why we believe Jesus is God. He's actually part of the reasons. And when he was baptized too, guys, like when Jesus was baptized, guys, like, you have to read about it. Like, let's get all our facts right. So, guys, let's get back into this. Call. I mean, nobody ever called him. He shall be called. I said, you see, that refers to Muhammad. Because Muhammad, you see in the Quran, in the Holy Quran, you read, that Muhammad and Abu Bakr at the flight, they were in a cave and they were almost being caught out. And Abu Bakr says, he says, look man, they are almost, they are upon us. We are done for. And Muhammad says, Inna Allah ma'ana, Emmanuel. 
Inna Allah, God is with us. Emmanuel. Muhammad said that, not Jesus. Jesus on the cross, he said, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. You see, at the critical moment, when you have God with you, who says that? Muhammad says that. Inna Allah mana, which is the exact translation of Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus says, according to your record, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? God is not with him. He's forsaken by God. That's at the critical moment. So this is not referring, nowhere referring to Jesus. With regards to Jesus. Yes, I, I just feel I have to explain it from a Christian point of view for everyone to understand. Like when God said, why have thou, when Jesus said, why have thou forsaken me? It was because God to turn his back from the world. Because God can't see his own creation like doing that to his son. And Jesus was in pain because we are all humans. Like he was in human flesh. Like he went through pain and agony. So he had to cry for help to his father, God. Like as we say, he is the son of God. Those of you going to come after me, but he is the son of God. That is why I believe it. Until I'm proven wrong, he is the son of God. I don't feel I mean that's trying to prove. Like I don't feel he's actually giving facts. He's just changing for topic. You know, I feel anyone, if we are being honest, like with ourselves, like let's put the religion aside. We all say God is with us. Like it's something we all say. Like even I feel I'm sure way before Muhammad came, people do say God is with us. Like God is always with us. This is what we say like every day, like every day of our life. So him saying Muhammad said God is with us, like because they were in danger and one message God is with us. It does not mean the fact that I, we, if we want to be honest here, like, I don't know what I made it, I'm trying to prove. If we want to be honest here, that verse was actually talking about Jesus. So I don't know why he's trying to sh transform it to say he's talking about Muhammad. Like, no, please be honest. Read the scripture and reply. Just leave your message. In my comment section or message on Instagram, like let's just know who is talking about. Like we have the scripture in our hands, so you can just check it out and reply me or send me a team. Guys, please let's continue though. Jesus saying, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Mr. D that, what have you to say to that? I said, I have to respond. He did say that. I am the way. He is the way. You see, in the context now, let's have a look at it in the context. You see, the disciples of Jesus misunderstood everything. Everything he spoke, they misunderstood. And his present day disciples and followers misinterpret everything he uttered with apologies. You see, this is in John chapter 14. At the beginning... Guys, like... This this year is actually off point. Like you can actually tell me that Swift. <sighs> God, God, God. You can actually tell me that eleven people actually misunderstood what God Jesus was saying. Like eleven people, eleven people that were with him, guys. Like wait, just like let's let's use this for instance. Let's use. Let's say the president of your country gives a speech and you tell me the whole country misunderstood what he's trying to say. Like, it's not logical. Like, I don't think it makes sense. Like, you tell me 11 people that have worked hand in hand with him misunderstood what he's saying. No, like, I want us to just be honest with ourselves. Like, I'm trying to listen to this with open-minded, but it's not making sense. Like, you tell me 11 people misunderstood what he's saying. It does not make sense for me, guys. Like, let's get back into this group. Please, get my point. I'm not trying to argue with him or, like, put any kind of hate speech for... Like, I'm just saying for... This is what I believe. It does not make sense. You can't tell me 11 people... Guys, let's continue. We are told, Jesus says, 
in my father's house there are many mansions had it not been for so, uh, so I would have told you and I'm going to prepare a place for you and whither I go ye know and the way ye know you know where I'm going and you know how to get there in other words I assume you understand what I'm talking about he's telling his disciples do you know where I'm going and you know how to reach that destination so they say Lord we know not whither thou goest and how can we know the way in other words they misunderstood Jesus is talking about spiritual matters spiritual goals spiritual destination they are thinking of geographical locations Washington Pittsburgh Philadelphia what they think it's a look we don't know where you are going and how are we gonna get there look misunderstanding he's talking about spiritual things they yeah, think yeah, of yeah, geographical, yeah. geographical places so Jesus in answer to that says I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the father but by me it means if you want to know where I'm going look at me the way to God is personified in me look at me the truth of God is personified in me look at me true life is personified in me look at me if you follow me you will reach your destination and they misunderstood again no it was too heavy for them too heavy for them for his disciples the simple statements they can't understand everything they're misunderstanding so they said look Lord show us the father and it suffice at us look all this you're talking about is too heavy for us too heavy we don't know what you're talking about just show us God if you can see God we'll be satisfied in answer to that Jesus says Philip you have been with me for so long you know you ought to know better than that you are a Jew and as a Jew you know no man can see God and live God is not seen at any time that's what the scriptures say He's not seen at any time and no man can see God and live if you see God you'll be consumed and you with me for so long and you still asking such a silly making such a silly request you want to see God with your bodily eyes when you can't look at the Sun he said if you have seen me you have seen the father meaning if you understood what I am you would have understood what God is same John is talking other places seeing they see not hearing they hear not neither do they understand guys it's, it's, it's simple English I don't know why he's trying to interpret it if you have seen me you have seen the father like I, I guys it's simple English please I'm telling you, I'm being honest here. I'm, I'm listening to this with open mind. Like, I'm open minded about this. But I just needed to say it. Like, Jesus said, If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Why is he saying. Guys, I'm not being this defensive. I think I am, but I'm trying my best not to. But, like, you know, there's a way someone will explain something for you. Like, I've watched Ahmed did that videos a lot. And sometimes when some verses go his way, he will say, it's simple English. I'm not translating anything. I'm just stating what is in your Bible. Now, he's stating what's in his Bible, giving us an explanation to it. Like, why is he trying to change what is there? Like, he's trying to tell the story out of it. Like... Guys, let's get back. Means you see and you don't see. If you have seen me, meaning not physical seeing, because Philip had no defect in his eyes. If he had, Jesus would have healed him. If he can heal other people from the blindness, why not his disciple of his defect in sight? No, he's not talking about physical sight. Means if you have seen me, he had that has seen me. Means if you understood what I am, you would have understood what God is. You wouldn't, you wouldn't make such a silly request. That's not true. Wanting to see God with your bodily eyes way to God you see that every prophet of God in his own time in his own dispensation is the only way to God in the time of Moses Moses was the way to God if you wanted another way the children of Israel chose another way through the golden calf for which 24,000 people were killed the Jews killing Jews God's command says destroy them this rubbish you know they're worshiping a calf kill them one book says 23,000 other says 24,000 we're killed for that why? Because they chose another way. There's only one way to God. 
is through the way of the prophet of God. The prophet of the time, he tells you, in the time of Noah, Noah was the way to God. You want to be saved? Get into the ark. That's all. No fasting, no prayer, no zakat, no pilgrimage, nothing. Just get into the ark. Salvation is yours. That's all. You see, he's the way to God. Guys, let's say the truth. When it was Noah, the only reason why people were to get into the ark was because if you don't, you're going to die. That's the only reason. It does not mean if you get into the ark, you will see Jesus or that is the way to meet God. That was not the way, guys. Please. I'm still saying this again. I'm, I'm saying this with open minds. Because if you listen, he said, he, he's what I tried him. When you get into the ark, you see God. The only reason why I get into the ark is for you not to be consumed with water because God flooded the earth. And he sent rainbow. Like, let's, let's, who, who performed miracle like Jesus? Like, which prophet or, no, no one. I don't feel anyone did it. I don't feel even prophet Muhammad did it. Like, Jesus stood out of everyone that come before him and came after him. He stood out. That's to tell us that he's he's not ordinary, like he's a supreme being, like I don't feel we we can explain who God is. And being a son of God automatically makes him a God. So I don't feel we can explain who he is. He came on air, like we had the opportunity to have him in this life, like we have the we had the opportunity to like feel him, touch him, like I, I just can't explain how beautiful that moment was. For you to actually see a God among men. And a lot of you are going to say, he, he is not a God, he is a prophet, you are saying nonsense. Like, please just try and understand what I'm saying. Like, just try and listen to me with open mindedness. Like, let me put your word for you. Try and listen to me with open mindedness. Like, check which prophet came after Jesus or before Jesus with open mindedness and with 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 prophet like not with prophecy but with miracles like check things Jesus did and check read about his crucifixion just search on this and if you don't see right answers just message me guys I told you guys in this journey I'm going through is either you become a Christian or I become a Muslim guys there's no one of us have to convert, guys. One of us have to. Guys, let's get back into this. Anybody who got in, saved. From physical destruction as well as spiritual destruction. Listening, hearken to the prophet of God. In the time of Jonah, Jonah was the way. In the time of Jesus, Jesus was the way. In the time of Muhammad, this is his dispensation. Muhammad is the way. If you want another way, it will not be accepted from you. Because Christ told you. Muhammad never said that. Uh, he, the spirit of truth is come. He will guide you into all truth. He had the message. He had the solutions. But now he didn't have the time. The poor man is on the run. As soon as he opened his mouth, the Jews were after his blood. And a man on the run, he's got no time to give you all the teaching. So he said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. He said, that spirit of truth is Muhammad. And we are prepared to reason with you. Let us have a dialogue. I have written a book called What the Bible Says About Muhammad. This deals with prophecies from the Old Testament. I have delivered a lecture on Muhammad, the natural successor to Christ. It's available on videotape. I haven't had a chance to write the book yet. But inshallah, God willing, I'll write the book. You see? So in other words, now let us have a dialogue. Who is the spirit of truth? Who is the comforter? And what does this mean when he says, I am the way, the truth and the life. He is the way to God. He is not the goal. To the Christian, he is the goal, he is not the way. He is we must talk and reason how I see it, how you see it. And by that we might arrive at truth. What truth is, really is. <laughs> Guys, he said to the Christian, he is not the way, but like he is the main for. If you want to be honest here, guys, like I'm a Christian, so I know. 
so we we only pray to God because it was written you can't get to the Father except through me so we only pray in his name because his blood was spared I know I said it a lot in my other videos but I'm going to say it again because it's I'm supposed to because like you can't get to the Father except through Jesus so as we Christians actually pray through Jesus to get to God we believe in God and we believe God we believe in same thing but you believe you can get to God through God like you can get to God through praying to God directly but we believe we can pray to God directly using Jesus name because he died for us you when I made it I tried proving Jesus didn't die like it sounds so strange like to be honest, I was upset because it hurts. It's not fact. Like, guys, I just let's say all of us just search on it. Just search on it. Jesus actually dying. Just search on it. Search on it. Like there are facts. There are records. I don't know why Ahmed did that. Just choose to like. And I know a lot of people actually believe him without actually making their own research. That's actually one fault I see, guys. A lot of people actually believe him without even researching on it or checking anything out. And he said, when, when Jesus passed, guys, like, when Jesus passed, when he ascended to heaven, if you can remember, guys, the, the disciples went to the upper room and they were all, there was fire in their heads. They were speaking in other tongues that people because it was a celebration season so people in other people from other tribe could understand what they were saying like which power do you think can do that like girl, like i feel it's only the holy spirit that can do that and when you come in contact with the holy spirit guy like it's, it's, it's a feeling you haven't felt before, like, I can tell you. But you actually be able to, guys, just, just try. Search on it. You search on it. Search about the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Search on it, please. And tell me if I'm wrong or right. If you want us to have a conversation, Please come to my DM, guys. Message me on Instagram. I will have a conversation, guys. Please don't insult me in my comment section. Please. I beg you. I beg you. Guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Please.